<sighs> Happy Wednesday, scholars. We're going to have a wonderful day of teaching and learning. Let's get started with the morning announcement. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible, and to always be ready to learn. There are so many things that I could say about these three wonderful women on the screen. Today is Administrative Professional Day. It's the day where we celebrate those on our staff who help us with the little things that we sometimes might take for granted. In addition to working in our office, day in and day out, taking care of everyone, taking care of the teachers, taking care of parents, taking care of students, taking care of visitors, answering the phone, working the copy machine, the intercom. These three ladies can also be seen working just to reward our scholars, cleaning, up our campus to make sure that when people drive up they will see our school 
at its best. Today, we honor Ms. Clark, Ms. Wheeler, and Ms. Coburn for all that they do. Teachers and scholars, I am asking that we shower them with gifts, with thank yous, with lots and lots of wonderful well wishes just to let them know how much we appreciate all that they do. As a matter of fact, today is their day, but I'm asking that we shower them for the remainder of this week because they don't have to do all that they do, but they do it just because they see the need just because they love our school. We don't have any birthdays today, but tomorrow, maybe we'll have a birthday or two. See you soon. In today's Classroom Spotlight, we are shining the light on out grade one scholars, specifically our grade one scholars in Miss Barrow's classroom. Look how they are working to level up and become sight word geniuses as they are practicing all of their vocabulary words for this week. How often are you practicing your vocabulary words to make sure that you can recognize them on site? This is how you will level up not only to become a sight word genius, but you will be able to read anything that is placed in front of you. Let's work to level up like our grade one scholars as they were caught showing all of our foundational values of being respectful, responsible, and especially ready to learn. We will be looking for more scholars throughout the building who are working to level up, who are showing that they are ready to learn, who are being respectful, to their classmates. I'll see you soon. In today's student spotlight, we are shining a light on two of our scholars who are leveling up so that they can become sight word geniuses. Today, our two star students are Denzel Brewer and Anthony Nash. Keep working on leveling up so that you too can be a sight word genius. In our school-wide events and activities, scholars, you can see on the screen, we have a lot to discuss today. Just as a reminder, our third nine-week honors program will be streamed virtually on next Tuesday, May the 3rd. We have a special performance that our Palm Squad has been working on. Hmm, I can't wait for you to see their performance. Today is also our very last day, our last official day of TCAP testing. Today, our scholars in grades three through five will be taking the science assessment. 
it will take a couple of hours for our scholars to finish this assessment. Teachers in pre-K through two, let's limit the amount of movement in the hallway as our grades three through five scholars are working to make sure that we are striving for five in science. It, we have just this one day to get it right, so we want to make sure that we don't do anything to distract our third through fifth grade scholars as they are working to prove how brilliant the Bobcats at the Hill are today. Students, we are counting on you. Make sure that you are courageously concentrating, you are watching your time, and you are giving it your best. Don't give up. You may not know all the answers, but you know enough answers to make sure that our school comes out on top. We are so proud of you already because we already know how how great of a job you're going to do today. Now, our next announcement is that on, on tomorrow, scholars, you have the opportunity to earn your next out of uniform pass. So, what you need to ask, make sure that you ask them. If you forgot yesterday, I need you to make sure you ask today. Ask your parents, are you registered for next school year? Because if you are registered for next school year, then you will earn a out of uniform pass on Friday. Now, if your parents say no, you are not registered, tell them they need to come to the school and visit us between 4.30 and 6.30 on tomorrow so that you can earn your out of uniform pass because you want to be registered for next school year. You just want to be ready. We talk about being ready to learn. You, in order to be ready to learn, you got to be registered in school. You got that's the that's one way that you could be ready for next school year. And so you want to be there. So make sure you ask your parents. Say, "Am I registered for next school year?" And that's all you need to know to know whether or not you will have your out of uniform pass on Friday. Now, scholars, this last announcement is one of the most important. Now look at your teacher. Look really closely at your teacher. Your teacher has been working extremely hard all year long to make sure that you become smarter and smarter and build your brilliance each day. Next week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Every day next week, we need to do something special for your teachers so this is how you can help you could make a card for your teacher you could bring them a flower you could bring their favorite snack you could just be on your very very best behavior if you want to thank your teacher for all that they do you want to make sure that they have the best week ever because our teachers are awesome they are phenomenal they are fantastic they are the best teachers in memphis shelby county schools and we want to show them how much we appreciate all that they do for us so every day next week you need to do something nice for your teacher they do nice things for you all the time they every day they do something for you this is our opportunity next week to make sure that our teachers know just how much we care about them, how much we thank them for all of the hard work that they put in to make sure that we get smarter and smarter each day. So scholars, go home, tell your parents next week we need to be showering your teacher with gifts for all that they have done for you so far this school year. Scholars, it is that time, that time of the week where we induct our top 10 scholars in reading and math in our ready for the week. It is the time when we announce, we celebrate all of the scholars who made it into our top 10 for the previous week. So, 
I'm ready. I don't know if you're ready. I hope that you are on the list. Do you think that you are on the list? Did you concentrate on your work last week where you were making sure that you were on I ready? You were on I ready at school. You went home, did some I ready at home. You may have done a little I ready on Saturday or Sunday. That is how you get into the top 10. So let's find out who work the hardest last week and i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you we have two new top top scholars two new number one scholars this week i hope that is you let's go ahead and find out about reading first and our top 10 scholars in reading on iReady this week are as follows Number 10, Dakarian Green. Number 9, Demaya Jameson. Number 8, Denzel Brewer. Number 7, Jemaya Jones. Number 6, D'Angelo Buckner. Number 5, Sierra Washington. Number four, Dakari Ewells. Number three, Malachi Danner. Number two, Lauren Campbell Avery. And this week we have a new Number one scholar in reading on iReady, our new iReady All-Star, our number one, our numero uno is Tristan Tate Matthews. Tristan, you are on the ball. Last week, you were number one in math, and this week, you set a goal, and you are now number one in reading. We are so proud of you and your step classmates, because on our top 10 list in reading, we have five of our step scholars. You are phenomenal thank you for working so hard this week and this week your hard work paid off you have taken up half of the slots in our i ready all stars in reading congratulations to you and all of our new scholars who made it on our top 10 reading list this week we are super proud of each of you let's see who made the list in math let's see who we will be inducting into our i ready all stars in mathematics for i ready for the past week Starting at number 10, we are welcoming Miguel Nahara. Number 9, Rodney Borum. Number 8, Thaddeus Holt. We have a two way tie for seventh place. We are also inducting Layla Moss and Davion Hampton. Number six, Renija Lacey. In fifth place, Tristan Tate Matthews. In fourth place, D'Angelo Buckner. In third place, Denzel Brewer. In second place, Vincent Smith. And our new number one scholar in mathematics. On I ready for the past week, we are welcoming our I ready all star, our number one in mathematics. Will it be you? Hmm. 
Well, congratulations to our number one scholar, Miss Kaylee Carter. Congratulations, Kaylee. You have made it to the top of our list. We couldn't be prouder of you and your fourth grade classmates as we see one, two, three, four, five, six of our 10 scholars coming from grade four. Congratulations. I also see quite a few of our STEM scholars made it to our list in mathematics too. We are so proud of the work that you are doing. Shout out to our grade four math teacher, Ms. Fleming, and our two-step teachers, Dr. Kavanis and Ms. Parnell, along with Coach Taylor and Mr. Broadway, you are doing a phenomenal job. We are so proud of your scholars. Keep up the great work. Remember, scholars, I ready is another way that you can build your brilliance. Make sure that you make time to be on I ready. Make sure that you practice, 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 because every time you complete a lesson on I ready, you are building your brilliance. And you know that every day our goal is to build brilliant bobcats. So, if you want to continue to be a brilliant bobcat, make sure that you are concentrating on your eye ready each and every day. Scholars, as we begin our math TCAP test this week, I want to remind you that you are bobcat strong because you are powerful. You are brilliant and you are a leader. Now, this morning is another opportunity for you to show just how smart you are. All we ask is that you do your best work. We don't ask that you try to get every single answer correct. We want you to make sure that you are concentrating, that you never give up, and that you give it your best shot. We are already proud of the work you do. Remember that we will be looking for scholars who are courageously concentrating because you never know. Today might be another treat day. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. Together we must believe. Together we will achieve. Together we are real master 901. How for today or teacher or learning.